So I figured tonight is the night. I'm gonna try these 3D printed objects and we'll see how it goes. So we're going to turn on the Sea Star and then we're going to try out some of these 3D printed objects. All right, I'm gonna change screens here. All right, so I've turned on the Sea Star and connected to it. Now I'm opening the arm so that we can test out our 3D printed objects before we use them tonight. Am I the only one that keeps thinking at the nighttime that it would sure be great to do this during the daytime? <laughs> I guess that's pretty silly, but it's hard to do things in the dark, so we got to do a practice run. Um, I've 3D printed, this is one of those battery holders. Um, if you watched the previous video where I showed printing these, you will recognize it. That one is thinner right here though, and it didn't fit my battery pack. So I printed a, this one in green and it's a little wider here. And these things, I have been using these and these work great. They just slide on really easy. They hold the battery pack. They're fabulous. I, I love those. So that was a great 3D print object. So another thing I wanna try tonight is the Batonov mask. It's just, that's what it looks like. And we're gonna test it out on here. Make sure it goes in there really nice and snug. It does, so you can see it there on the Sea Star. That I wanna try tonight. And then I want to try some Star Spike adapter thingies. And so those fit on there really nicely. So that one has three of the little, I don't know what you call these, that creates the star spikes. And then I have one that has four of those little things right here. So it'll create more star spikes on the stars. So that's what I have. I also 3D printed, I didn't show this in my last video, I printed one of these that has eight of those. And so that would do even more. This one is a different kind. It doesn't go into here like the others. It has a little holder that you slide these little things into. And I don't, uh, the print on the slider thingy, I have to redo it because it didn't work really great. But I'm gonna try that if I can figure out. I think maybe I can just use tape or something to stick that on there when I'm ready to do a star. So those are the things I wanna try tonight. And we'll see how it goes because if you look outside my window, there's no blue skies to be seen. And it was clear this morning, so that's why I thought today would be a great day to do these. Uh, but it is not clear now. And I don't know if it will be. If it clears up, we'll do it tonight. These should be pretty quick because I'm gonna use them on stars. The Batonov mask helps us with focusing and the other ones do star spikes. And so their stars are really easy to do in a little short window. You don't need a lot of exposure time. And so if it clears up, we'll try it. If not, we might have to do it another night, but hope, hope it goes well. Okay, this is going to be our test run with the Batonov mask. And so I've just opened the Sea Star and located a star and I've got it centered and it did an auto focus on the star once I did the go to. And so it's done the auto focus. And so um, we're gonna mess around with the Batonov mask just to show how it works. Um, but this is the star. We're gonna wait and let it save an exposure just so we have some comparisons to start with, not just a, a raw image that isn't stackable but um, we're just going to put that Batonov mask on. I just stopped that process and now I'm going to put the Batonov mask on. You can see the sea stars being jiggled there. That's me moving it around, putting that Batonov mask on. And then I'm going to re, um, resume or restart the imaging. And you see that the autofocus buttons are there on the left and that's what we're going to play with next you can see that this one is um, 
pretty much already focused because it did an auto focus already but um, I'm going to manually change the buttons over there on the left so that we can see what it looks like. I'm zooming in so you can see. And then as I change those um, focusing um, buttons, I, I click the autofocus again so that it would zoom out of focus and in focus so you could see how the Batonov mask works. Once those lines, those star diffractor lines, all cross in the center of the star that's when you have um, good focus so right there is good focus and if if your star isn't in focus you can manually change those settings over on the left hand side you can do it slow or fast but but that's how you determine with that batonov mask whether or not something is in focus if those lines all intersect and you see I'm, I'm just moving them around here so you can see the difference and so I'm clicking those buttons over on the left you can see them turning red and that's me moving them around so that you can see what it looks like out of focus the next 3d printed accessory that we're gonna try is one of those star diffractors this one had three of those little crisscrossy thingies in the middle and so I'm just focusing in on a star right now. We'll save a 10 second exposure of it just for a starting point. We'll do the same thing we did with the Batonov mask and we will stop the imaging. Then you'll see me putting the little 3D printed lens cap thingy over it. You'll see the C star will start to jiggle and then we'll resume the imaging so that you can see what it looks like with that lens cap on it. Um, this is the smaller, smallest one that I have. And I think it produces six spikes, if I remember right. I don't know. We'll see here. So that's me putting that lens cap thing on. Uh, and then I'm going to restart. And you see right there, it's got the six diffractor spikes on it. Now, oh, I think they're just so pretty with those on them. So this is a really cheap accessory that really enhances the visual appearance of the stars. And I just zoomed in so you could see it a little clearer. Yeah, I think it looks beautiful with the star diffractors on them. So that was the first star diffractor lens cap. Here is the next one. We're gonna do that same process. We're going to save an exposure just so that we know it's in center and it's a good starting point to put that second lens cap on. And this one has four of those diffractor spike little things that crisscross across the lens cap. And so we're just gonna wait for it to save an exposure so that we have a good starting point. And then we will stop the imaging and you'll see the C star wiggle around and I'll put that second lens cap on. That's me stopping it right there. And then you'll see all the wiggling around. That's me putting that lens cap on. And it's just in raw form right there. So it's just imaging whatever it sees and I'm moving it around. So this one has the four spikes in it. See, and that's pretty too. I like that one. Which one do you like better? The, the one that produces six spikes or the four? I think I, I like the six spikes just because it looks like not a cross, I guess. I don't know. This one's pretty too, though. I do like them both. And there it is. It's enhancing and imaging and I'm zooming in and out so you can see what it looks like at different sizes. So that's a pretty cheap accessory that that makes a big difference on the imaging so the next one we're going to do is the one that had a little holder it, it looks a little different it had a holder that didn't 3d print correctly so i don't have the holder so i'm just going to have to hold it there so i don't know how this one's going to work we're going to use that same process we will image the star wait for it to save an exposure just so that we know that it's in line and is saving and 
everything's going well, a good foundation starting point. And then we will stop the imaging. And then I'm going to try holding that little thing over it. So that's, that's me moving it around a little bit, trying to get in position to hold the thing in place. And I don't think it's gonna work great because I just can't hold still enough. I, I could tape it to the thing, but dark out <laughs> and I can't see very well out there and so I don't really want to tape it and end up taping the wrong thing but you can see the the spikes right there how many it produces it's really pretty I like it a lot but I would definitely want to get the either 3d print the holder for it or see if there's a version on thingiverse that lets me print one that just snaps into the lens cap see it's really kind of pretty it's just blurry because I'm moving it around but those are the 3d printed objects uh, it's a cheap way to enhance your imaging on stars let me know what you think thanks for joining and like always we're wishing clear skies for everyone <laughs>